Hi everyone, welcome to a new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom and I'm here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, about to hop on the hop. That never gets old. Uh, the hop is Milwaukee's streetcar or light rail system. And these light rails have become really popular in the United States since about the 1980s. They've popped up in all different cities, uh, some of them very unexpected, where you would never expect something like this, and some of them like here in Milwaukee, where you might expect like there's more than just this. But anyways, there's a new city being added to the list of streetcars in the United States. And it may surprise you to find out which city that is. We're going to be seeing light rails in New York City. Uh, the Interbro Express is a new line that has been planned for many years. And in January of 2023, the governor of New York announced that the Interbro Express was going to be a light rail. So, a lot of the New York City subway connects uh, Manhattan to the other boroughs, um, but there's not a lot of transit between boroughs. So that's what the Interboro Express is going to do. It's going to connect Brooklyn with Queens. And initially the plan was to connect the Bronx as well, but they scrapped that part of the plan. Now there's a freight railroad owned by the Long Island Railroad and CSX, which runs through that part of the city. Uh, trains that use it are actually operated by the New York and Atlantic Railroad. And the Interboro Express is going to use that right of way. And so they debated what mode of transport would be best, commuter rail, subway, bus rapid transit. But they concluded that light rail would be most compatible with the existing freight service. So what's interesting is, at least for part of the route, they're going to be building a viaduct on top of the freight lines and then having those light rail trains run over that. And light rail is definitely something we have not seen in New York City. So when it eventually opens, I'll definitely be there. So the main question I had when I heard this news was why light rail? And it looks like it's mostly a cost saving measure. They estimate that they can save $3 billion by going with light rail rather than subway or commuter rail. And a lot of it has to do with the desire to keep running freight trains on the same tracks. And apparently light rail vehicles are most compatible with that. According to videos released by the MTA, there could be some viaducts that the streetcars run over the freight tracks. Um, I'm imagining that we could see stuff like gauntlet track, which is used in a lot of other cases. But the main issue seems to be this tunnel under a cemetery in Queens, where it didn't seem feasible to have heavy rail trains share the tunnel with freight trains. Instead, what light rail vehicles will be able to do is get off the right of way and do a little bit of street running before joining the right of way again and continuing north. This means we might see some street running light rail in New York City, but of course it will slow down the journey time. The Interboro Express will be 14 miles long. It's expected to cost $5.5 billion and the funding for that uh, they don't know where that's going to come from yet. But ultimately, I do think that the Interboro Express is a good idea because it just provides transit to a large group of New Yorkers that currently do not have the excellent transit they deserve. And whatever mode they would have gone with, I think that ultimately this is a good thing. Uh, what are your thoughts on light rail and on the Interboro Express? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this short video. Please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.